when a material master is created, that material is only available at the designated plant and the storage location. At large organizations, materials are often needed at many plants in different storage locations. So let's extend a material master record to use it at a different plant. To do this, we'll enter T code MM01. and press enter. This brings us to the create material initial screen. Even though we aren't creating new material, we still act like we are. We want to extend the material named bolt 2023 to another plant. We will enter the, that material name in the material field. and press enter. This brings up our select views pop-up screen. We want the necessary data created to purchase this ROM tool. So we'll select basic data one, purchasing, and general plant data storage one, and press continue. This brings up our organizational levels pop up. This is very important as this is the step where we extend our material to new organizational units. In this case, the organizational units are plant and the starter location. Let's look at our options for the plant. There's X in DC Miami with the plant MI00. That means this material is already there. For this course, we will choose plant DL00 and click choose. Next, we will see our option for star lo storage location. Again, an X is already associated with starter location MI00. We want to extend this to the starter location RM00 and add a plant DL00. So we'll select and click choose. Next, we'll press continue. At the bottom left of the screen, we receive a success message that says the material already exists and will be extended. Perfect. Now we'll click save. Again, we brought back to the initial screen where we receive another success message that says the material bolt 2023 has been created. This means that our material has now been extended to a new storage location, RM00 at a new plant, DL00. And we can purchase it and or store it there.